Today in my video blog, I wanted to do a quick review of some of the leaflets that have been going out in the southeast region for the European elections on the 4th of June. Where to start? Should we start with the BNP special number um, here, which is um, just awful, full of clip art, because clearly no one would want to actually be on one of their leaflets, um, and absurdly, we with a World War II fighter plane there, which I believe was actually a Polish one. The Kosciuszko squadron was the squadron with the uh, highest kill rate um, in the Battle of Britain and had a long and proud history in defending Britain during the Second World War. And uh, their main claims are no to EU rule and the Euro, no to immigration and unemployment, no to high taxes and rip off Brit Britain. How they're going to achieve any of that, don't know, but they say that we've earned the right. Now, I mean, how do you just say no to immigration, full stop? It's a completely empty thing to say, no to unemployment. So, this fascist party are basically socialists now, it would seem communists even, because they're going to eliminate unemployment somehow, um, while at the same time eliminating taxes, or high taxes as they call them. Uh, it's just tripe, really. If we move on now to UKIP, who... Um, have seemed sent out the same leaflet across the, across the southeast region. I have to say, all respect to you, Kit. I think it's it's a well put together leaflet. Um, it's it's kind of a bit appalling, really, to see Churchill on there. Three policy claims: no to unlimited immigration. So they're qualifying it somewhat, but still, immigration is bothering them. No to the £40 million daily EU bill. No mention of the benefits the EU brings, um, and no to EU control of our lives. Well, I think, you know, there's a debate to be had there. The EU isn't perfect. Um, so, um, and then nothing else. Just say, put country before any political party and lend UKIP your vote. Now, uh, they, they have a summary of their, their candidates here, which I, I think is quite nice, actually, to see the candidates. It's not a bad idea. And then clear calls to action to call. And the front and the back are the same, which is clever. No matter which way it comes through the post box, you're going to be hit with that. Um, if we look at the Lib Dems, very, very bland, dull, um, here it is, this is, um, this is the Mull Valley one, sorry, and this is the one in Hove. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, the difference is the small bit of black text here, one says Mull Valley, one says Hove. That is the only difference between the two regional ones. I don't know why they bothered, frankly. And their leaflet is this little format which folds out like that. Um, and what's interesting on here is it, it doesn't actually really clearly say anywhere to vote Lib Dem. It doesn't seem to ask you to, for their vote. It doesn't seem to tell you when the election is. Um, it, no specific claims. I mean, they say we've been let down by Labour. Well, that's true. I can agree with that. Um, they criticise Conservatives for going it alone in, in their group, that they're, they're abandoning the European Parliament group they've been in and going for one, which is probably going to be more far right. Fair enough to criticise, but do many people really care about that issue in their daily lives? Don't think so. Um, and, uh, well, it's just, it's just weak, you know. I mean, the one kind of um, clear achievement they're claiming is that they've um, tried to defend the International Rail Service at Ashford International for the Eurostar um, and that they promote hard-working volunteer and charity groups. Other than that they're just basically saying we need international action on everything to solve problems. Yeah we do need to work together internationally but where's the clear kind of policy? What, what are they actually going to do if I vote for them? It's just not clear. I'm, I'm not going to vote for them. But, um, what else have we got? Well, I've not had a Labour free post specifically, but what I did get was this newsletter from Celia Barlow, who's the MP here in Hove, and this was paid for by her 10 grand a year parliamentary communications allowance, and I think this is a perfect example of why MPs shouldn't be getting this 10k, um, or if they are going to get it, it's got to be much more strictly controlled, because we look through the rules, um, and there doesn't seem to be anything excluding them putting something out during the election period. So this has gone out, funded by taxpayers, to the Hove constituency to basically prop up Labour, who don't have any other leaflet here. And it's, it, it's just very dull, again, it's, it's, it's just odds and sods. Nothing that I could say, wow, 
Celia Barlow really achieved that. She's her front page is about kick off for Falmer Stadium. What did she do there? What, what, how how did she have any involvement there? I don't know. Um, it, it's just a kind of attaching herself with other people's success. Onto the Conservatives. Well, it's a very well put together leaflet. Here we have it. Um, you know. Old David on the inside, it folds out. You've got headlines of all the disasters of Labour, um, the U turn of no referendum from Gordon, a nice little letter from David Cameron, which I think is very well put, put together, basically saying, you know, broken promises, Euro MPs are important, and um, not just money is important in life, but stable, loving family, you know, society, good schools, that's all fair enough. Pictures are really good. Um, Nice clear um, inside there with um, voting record in the European Parliament on various issues. Issues, you know, I don't really agree with them on necessarily. Some of them I do. Um, I mean, yeah, they voted against the European Armed Force. That's good. Would have opposed that as well myself. Um, voted against the EU accounts until they've been approved by the auditors. I can support that. Um, on the back, um, there's there's a little bit here which is is localised quite nicely. So this is the Surrey version, and this is the um, Brighton and Hove version, and they are slightly different. In fact, the content is mostly the same, but the pictures are different. But it's quite nicely done. Um, the main difference, actually, in East Sussex, they talk about basically stopping illegal immigration. So playing the immigration card, um, in Surrey they're talking about a livestock movement ban and how they try to, they work to eliminate a livestock movement ban. Um, you know, I, pretty empty overall, you know, talking about um, the fact that you can still use ounces and pints and pounds thanks to the Tories. Well, you know, thank you, my life is so much better because of that. Um, you know, as as people choke on the pollution in Brighton City Centre, they'll be glad that they can still order a pint at least in the pub. Um, you know, yeah, there's traditional value in those things, but in the old or priority levels, it's just not really going to do much. Um, so, in 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 fairness, also the other leaf that I got um, was the uh, one from the Green Party. Um, and this is the one I got in Brighton Hove, and this is one in Surrey that was sent out. Um, so you can see some some difference in, in localization there. Mainly just a front cover difference um, in that Canon Lucas was going out most places. Um, Keith Taylor, who's a councillor here in Brighton and Hove, was on the Brighton and Hove version because he's known around here. Fair enough. On the inside, I think one thing that really strikes me, I am of course biased as, as a Green Party candidate and councillor myself, is um, you can't read it, but what is on there is a lot of specifics. So, um, quite specific uh, proposals on, say, how we would deal with climate change, invest in free home insulation to cut people's fuel bills and carbon emissions, invest massively in green energy, so renewable energy sources like wind farms, to reduce our carbon emissions and create long term jobs with skills. Um, we would change the expenses system. In Europe, we've been campaigning for that long before it was the hot issue it is now. Um, and also end the wastefulness of Parliament's monthly move to Strasbourg, which costs a fortune. No one else has mentioned that in their leaflets. Banning of GM foods, end of factory farming. I could go on. And we also list achievements, things that we've done on, you know, fighting airport expansion, promoting human rights, um, you know, opposing wars, um, going on delegations to Gaza. Um, those sorts of things. I, I think, um, you know, everyone will have their political views, but looking at the leaflets, I think one thing is, is quite interesting, is that um, basically, of, of the leaflets, UKIP and the Green Party ones are the clearest. They actually tell you to vote. They say vote UKIP, vote Green Party, and they offer the date. And I think that's useful information. I also think it's interesting how vague they are, um, mostly. Um, BMPs being the most vague and, and pathetic. Lib Dem, you know, extremely vague as well. Um, UKIP fairly vague. Tory vague. Um, Green's quite specific. I mean, there's only so much space on a leaflet, of course. You don't want to overwhelm people. Um, but I, I do think it's interesting the way these have shown up.